Hello, my name is Cody Harrison. I'm a field application engineer here at Yokogawa Test and Measurement. Today we're going to talk about how to test to an IEC standard using a WT5000 Precision Power Analyzer and the Harmonic Flicker testing software. Yokogawa's Harmonic Flicker measurement software enables engineers to test to several IEC 61000 standards using the WT5000 Precision Power Analyzer. The software automates the process of judging if the device under test is compliant with the chosen standard and also allows you to output the necessary test reports for your records. In this video, we will be doing a simple pass-fail test on my laptop's power supply. We will be checking that it complies to the IEC 61000-3-2 Class A standard for harmonic current emission. We'll start by selecting the correct standard we want to test to. As you can see, there are four to choose from. As I said, we will be working with the IEC 61000-3-2, but we could also test to dash 3-3, dash 3-11, and dash 3-12. We start by simply clicking it. This brings us to the software start page. Here we can choose the automated path. This is where we choose if we would like to set up a new test or a previous one or include printing in our process. I will select a new measurement. Once this selection is made, we move on to stage two in the process. Here we select the connection method for the power analyzer, and if you are choosing the available synchronous function with NF's power supply. We are not, so I select not to used. I then select my, my communication method, which will be USB. Once I have selected the communication method, I can then start online connection. Now that we have set the software up and made a connection, we can set up the test settings. The first tab on this page allows us to set the WT5000's settings. My main concern on this page is the range settings. I select 150 volts and I will select 2 amps. The next tab is for setting up the thresholds according to your standard. I have selected to test my power supply to a class A standard and my power limit is 75 watts. As you can see, the software allows for much more details depending on the evaluation class you are testing. We can also select the measurement time as well. For our test, we will leave it as is on the default setting of 2 minutes and 30 seconds. In the last tab, we can select from a few more options that might be needed depending on our specific testing needs. We can adjust the margin we want to test to or add functions to the report such as a waveform graph or simply change some of the pass-fail features that might not be required in this specific test. For us, we will leave these boxes in the default state. Now that we have the test set up, we can go to the measurement window and perform the test. To start the test, we just need to press the start test button to the left of the page. The software will start with a 10 second standby period and then start the test and run for the time we set up in the settings menu. We'll jump to the completion of our test. Once the test is run, the software will immediately tell you if you pass or fail. You can then go to the analysis page and look at the data if you would like. The analysis page offers several different views depending on the setup you ran. You can see the harmonic current list from the previous view. We can also see a trend graph view. We can see a wave graph view. Now that the test is over and we are done with the analysis page, we can use the print page to print the results if we need to. Here we can select if we want to output to paper or PDF 
however we need to to save for our records. Then we can also go to the Save menu where we can save the measured data for analysis later or for printing later and also to keep a digital copy for our records. This is also where we would save any settings data we might like for future testing. To exit the software, simply press the exit button and you'll be reverted back to the IEC launcher page. I hope you find this video helpful in setting up your WT5000 and the Harmonic Flicker software to test to an IEC standard. Remember that Yokogawa offers free live technical support for all of our instruments and software, so if you have any specific applications you need help with, please reach out to us at support at us.yokogawa.com. For more videos, application notes, and white papers like this, please visit tmi.yokogawa.com. And don't forget to click subscribe to join our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.